for the sign of Pisces. Hello and welcome to my channel. We'll find out what's coming up for the present time. Like I said, this is a bonus reading for Pisces for this coming week. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll see what the outcome is. So Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person, we got the Ace of Swords and it's with the King of Cups. Now, the Ace of Swords, it can indicate a new beginning of some sort in your life. Could be on several fronts. Sometimes this new beginning, it actually gets started by a separation of some kind. Could be from a relationship. Could be from a job. Or maybe a situation. But just know that as anxiety producing as such a new beginning can sometimes be, Underneath it all is actually good, beneficial energy that's getting you to where you want to go and where you need to be. Now, that's what the King of Cups, which speaks of a very balanced male and feminine energy. Yeah, this person would hold all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Often, he indicates the actual person in your life, and usually it represents someone who's very loving and very kind. They'll usually have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know with the King of Cups, you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen when you get this card in a reading. It's all about kindness and compassion. There is an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is, when you get the King of Cups. Yeah, the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Whenever you see those two cards, there's a lot of love there. It's all about love. And what's in that cup is a cup of love. So, recent past energy between you and your person. Ace of Swords, clarified by this King of Cups. So, for some of you, Pisces, I'm getting the feel that you could have wanted to offer love to someone or your person. You could have wanted to offer them love. But there was something that they needed to cut out. Put a stop to something. And then you knew that the two of you would have this great new beginning. But something had to be stopped. And then you would have... You would have rushed right on in there and offered that cup of love. That's what you ultimately wanted. But something had to be cut out. And then you would, you two would have gotten this great new beginning. Or this is what actually happened. Could have happened. But let's take a look and see what the rest of the reading is saying. So we move on over. Take a look at what's coming up. Now we've got the Two of Pentacles and it's with the Sun card. The Two of Pentacles could be about two main issues at front in your mind so you may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things multitasking is actually not your friend when you get the two of pentacles so you could need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on just two main priorities it could be that your financial situation needs to be more balanced so be sure you're paying attention there now it's with the sun card the sun card Things are going really well, yeah. However, even though your finances, they could be in good shape, but this doesn't mean that you should lose focus on what is truly important in your life. And money is not very high on that list for some of you, Pisces. So it's going to be a good time to socialize, meet new people. Get out and about, and if you're looking for a new job, this sun card actually signifies that it's right around the corner. So what we got coming up, two of pentacles clarified by the sun, sun card. 
So basically, yeah, the sun card. Like I said, you once you know that something needs to be cut out, then you two get this great new beginning. Um, but your person, they could be like really busy. They know you had a lot of sunshine to their life, though. But they, they're doing a lot. A whole lot. The person could, um, maybe they have two jobs. Right now they're multitasking. So they, it's possible that they're really not able to focus on things that need to be done in the relationship. But just know that you make this person really happy. Pisces, you had a lot of sunshine to their lives. So, your person could be really busy coming up this week. And it might, it might, it could make you feel like they're finding trouble. They're having trouble finding energy for you. And it could make you feel like they're not putting you high on the priority list. But just know that you add a lot of sunshine to their life and you're the one that makes this person really happy. Now, let's move on over and see what the challenge is. Well, we got the Hermit and we got the Lover's card. Now, the Hermit card, it can be a spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. It's kind of like the Strength card. You could feel like you're in the frame of mind that you need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. Yeah, this Hermit card, it can also be a card about trying really hard to do the right thing. But you want to make sure that doing the right thing actually includes doing what's right for you personally. And not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. Now, it's paired with the Lover's card, which is associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. It's possible when you get this card in a reading... You're feeling or you're starting to feel really ambivalent about a relationship or a situation in your life. It could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another. Now, the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Because some people say that there are only two modes that we operate under at a time. And that's either fear or love. But when you get the lover's card, it's saying it's safe to choose love. Because it's actually a time when love is brought to you in big, bold, capital letters to the center stage of your life. So, the challenge hermit card clarified by this lover's So, yeah. Pisces, like I said, you're feeling like your person is not putting you on the priority list. Yeah, that's what you're feeling like. And you, you were ready to offer this cup of love. Or you did offer it. And now all of a sudden they're really busy. There's some things that need to be cut out in the relationship. So it looks like you might take your time, take some time to, to yourself. Just to clear your thinking. Because right now you don't. You, f you kind of feel like you don't know what to make of what's going on. They're always busy. Yeah. And you were ready to offer that cup. And they're not making time to deal with what needs to be cut out. And that's what's really important for a lot of you. So you take some time alone just to get rid of some thoughts that are running in your head. Clear your mind. That's what you're doing. But with the lover's card here, it's saying you really don't have anything to worry about. You really don't. You and your person, you're on the same page. 
the lover's card, it can be associated with the astrological sign of Gemini the Twins. Yeah, the two of you could be mirroring each other. So, there's a falling in love here when you get the lover's card. The lover's card is beautiful. It's the strength of two. It's a partnership. It's deep love. So, you could feel like you're falling in love. But like I said, it's, it's the time when love is brought to you in big, bold capital letters to the center stage of your life. So, I'm picking up that you don't really have anything to worry about. Yeah. The lover's card is really powerful. So we move on over and we take a look and see what the outcome is. Well, we got the Hierophant and it's with the Will of Fortune. Yeah, so the Hierophant with this card, you could actually be searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great loyal friend. When this type of person is called on for advice or help with some important matters, their intelligence and their empathy, it actually puts them in the position to provide tremendous support. So this could be you, Pisces, someone coming towards you, or someone that you know, they're quick-witted, well-educated, wise teachers, marked by integrity. Yeah, they're actually the genuine article of True Blue. Highly admired individuals who walk the walk, they talk the talk, and they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. Now, to the Will of Fortune. With the Will of Fortune, it reminds us that this too shall pass, whether it's good times, whether it's bad times, it passes. If all of a sudden you find yourself sitting on top of the world, you want to make sure to keep your perspective. Because as that too, like everything else, changes. So live in the now, live in the now and count your blessings. But just realize that much of life is actually outside of our control. But that's even okay. That's okay. You have to roll with the changes and think positive. So the outcome higher effect clarified by this will of fortune so like i said there's a falling in love here but you it looks like you decided to or you need to clear your mind because then you don't really have anything to worry about with this lover's card even though your person's busy and haven't dealt with what needs to be cut out You make this person really happy. Now, because the Hierophant is here with the Will of Fortune, yeah, fortune is in your favor, Pisces. And when the Hierophant talks about relationships and love, and if you're asking how your person is feeling, just know that they love you very deeply and it's a love that cannot be broken. So yeah, you, for a lot of you, you've got, you've got someone that's wanting to be true, wanting to keep it real with you. The Hierophant doesn't play games. They walk the walk, they talk the talk. And they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. And like I said, there's a love there that cannot be broken. And this is your person. So you really don't have anything to worry about. Fortune is in your favor. And yeah. I'm, I'm picking up for a lot of you. Your person is, they'll come around. They will come around and cut out whatever it is that needs to be cut out. 
So that is the reading that I have for you, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best key scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Pisces, hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there, it's going to pass. And we'll all get through this, so stay strong and take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Pisces reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. So, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. You have a great day. You have a great day.